Thank you for the opportunity. It's really uh, fantastic to be on the dais with such illustrious people, Mr. Azad, Dr. Mashalkar, Dilip Valse Patel, Nani, Kanil Deshmukh, and so many, so many dignitaries, awardees, and great people in the audience and on the stage. I just want to share a few thoughts, a short time, but really I thought, uh, I saw a lot of educationists in the audience. Uh, we have uh, Rupa Shah, we have uh, Mrs. Billa, both the Mrs. Billas have been in education, Mr. Chabria, Mr. Mansukhani, Manju Nichani, Shiv Dasani, and uh, a lot of educationists here today. And I was just taken up by the fact that, I do a little bit also, thank you. Uh, and uh, Piyush uh, also mentioned about the youth in terms of what it is and he said, I was asking him what I should say and he said you should speak about the youth of today. And I was l wondering at the great uh, uh, sharing that we have to do with the common man to the opportunities of India and the growth of the next generation. In the Indian Merchant Chamber, of which I am now the president, we have started uh, the first skill development center. These are talking with lathe operators, machine operators, uh, fitters, and so on and so forth. And this was the first one we set up, and we are targeting to put up at least 20 by the end of the year, so that people can be skilled in different things in order to get jobs and employment, and that's one of the objectives that we do. Just now, Mr. Kumar Mangalam Billa talked about 150,000 people working in the Billa empire in the schools and colleges which Mr. Mansukhani is of the president has only 45,000 students. So all these institutions put together have a great opportunity. Mr. Aditya Puri talked about touching how many lives? One million, One million lives as far as this is concerned. I think today Priyadarshini Academy with the kind of multifold people who have gathered together should commit one million from him and probably all of us together could add a million more in order to get into the skill development area. And what are the opportunities in this? I went to Navi Mumbai about three weeks ago to inaugurate the first skill development center with we said, and we had an interactive session as to what skill development is all about. And somebody talked about construction workers, uh, plumbers, electricians, uh, and so on and so forth. How can we bring the bottom of bottom people of unskilled people to become skilled and get this gap to be completely bridged? And then one lady got up from the audience and she said, Mr. Hiranandani, can you think of certifying a skill development center for IABIs? For a second, I was quite stunned. He says, you know, I have a very old mother in my house, and I can't get an ayabai who can really look after her. She's old. I stay with my mother-in-law and the other family, and I don't have a person, and I've been looking after maids and maids, and I'm not too sure whether the next maid can actually look after my mother. Can we create a skill development center for ayabais? which can actually skill these people who would be certified to be fit to look after my mother. And it came as a shock to me that in a country which has thousands of unemployed people, men, women, of all kinds and sorts, and we in education, we talk about the highest of education, we are proud over here that Dr. Mashalkar is sitting with us. Sir, we are deeply honored with the scientific background and the search and research that you have done with your institution and of course Dr. Brahm uh, Brahmachari is also there and we are really proud of you sir too. But the other end of the spectrum is something where the country has a huge gap and that's what I want to share with you my friends that I feel that in the next five to ten years if we can focus with two million people together all of us sitting over here educationalists Leaders in our country, Mr. Azad, Mr. Dilip Valse Patil, Mr. Nani Krupani, all the other dignitaries, Mr. Suresh Prabhu, all of us sitting together can work in this new direction so that we can get the unemployed employed and we who are short of labor all the time get wonderful people. I think we can bridge this gap 
the inclusiveness of India will be what Nani Krupani talks about in terms of solving this problem of the great India that we are and we will be. Uh, I also had Mr. Carlos yesterday in Indian Merchants Chamber and he was talking about the dividend of the population, the younger population of our country. We must give this opp opportunity to the young people so that they become skilled and educated. The, both the sides of the kind can really move forward and I think we'll have a great India. Thank you very much my friends. All the best.